And now your weather with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland, featuring the three-degree guarantee. Sponsored by Capital Credit Union. After back-to-back -back days with highs in the upper 30s, it was much colder today. Temperatures only in the lower to mid-20s during the middle of the afternoon. But some 30s are coming back for tomorrow. It's going to be a brief warm-up on Friday. Highs in the upper 30s during the morning and then crashing as we move through the afternoon. And then even colder weather is going to move in for this upcoming weekend and Valentine's Day with highs mainly in the teens to around 20 degrees. Right now we are looking at widespread 20s except Antigo, where the temperature right now is coming in at 19 degrees. In Green Bay, it is 25 after a few lingering flurries this morning and then a mixture of clouds and sunshine. The clouds are beginning to increase and thicken up from the west. In Appleton, it is 25 and the winds are beginning to increase out of the southwest at around 15 to 25 miles per hour. And those winds will really crank up later on this evening into tonight at times between 30 and 40 miles per hour. Initially, they'll be out of the south and west, but then as that system passes us by tomorrow morning. Our winds will switch to the north and west, and that means much colder air will begin to push in from Canada. Taking a look at the latest radar, you can see quiet conditions across the viewing area right now, but that snow is getting ready to move into Wausau right now. To the west of Wausau, we have moderate to heavy snow falling at times here between Wausau, Eau Claire, Rice Lake up towards Duluth, and this activity is sliding off towards the east southeast. So as you take a look at the high risk future radar, you will see that that snow is going to overspread the entire viewing area here between about 6 and 8 o'clock from west to east. Once again, it'll be mainly light to moderate, but there will be some bursts of heavier snow mixing in from time to time. And then everything will wind down during the early morning hours of Friday with some spots maybe switching over to a little bit of drizzle, freezing drizzle, or even some light rain as temperatures warm up. Generally about 1 to 3 inches across the area. Lower totals across the south and locally higher amounts north and west of Green Bay where some spots could see around four inches of snow. So we do have that winter weather advisory in effect for tonight for areas north of Green Bay that extends back to the north and west to where we have a strong area of low pressure that is now developing here across northern Minnesota. This area of low pressure is going to be tracking off towards the east southeast throughout the night into tomorrow. Now south and west of this system today feeling like spring temperatures in the 30s, 40s, 50s and 60s. We're going to tap into just a little bit of that warmth late tonight into tomorrow morning and then behind that system it is going to turn sharply colder. Afternoon temperatures across central and northern Canada today in the 30s below zero and that cold air is going to drop south into the U.S. So upper 30s tomorrow morning and then falling as we move through the afternoon into the 20s with the wind Winds remaining quite strong out of the north and west, gusting to around 40 miles per hour. Wind chills will fall below zero tomorrow evening. By Saturday morning, wind chills will be in the teens and 20s below zero. Some wind chills could be quite a bit colder than that. So it's going to be cold out on Lake Winnebago. Lots of sunshine to kick off sturgeon spearing but temperatures will be about 15 to 20 degrees below normal for this time of year. So tonight, snowy and windy, temperatures slowly climbing with gusty winds. Tomorrow we'll have maybe a lingering snow shower or flurry throughout the day. Morning highs in the upper 30s, then falling. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 38. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to bridge the gap for autism. And we did that today. I forecast 29. The high temperature so far has been 28 degrees. On Saturday, mostly sunny and cold, 11 below zero Sunday morning, 15 Sunday, maybe some lake effect snow showers. For Valentine's Day, maybe a snow shower early and cold. We'll see temperatures then warm up ahead of another potentially bigger system for Wednesday and Thursday, and that's something we need to keep a close eye on. All right, I do want to say a quick hello to all of the third graders at Quinney Elementary. That is in Kakana. And I was there earlier today talking about all types of weather. And I asked the kids to raise their hand if they wanted a snow day. And you see the end result there. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to get a snow day tomorrow, yeah. but uh, we'll have to watch that storm as we head into uh, Thursday of next week. I don't think it's going to stop them from holding out hope, crossing their fingers. That's just right. There's in always case. a chance. <laughs> Cameron, thank you. Well, coming up here, Valentine's Day is almost.